Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages in the mid-month of July. In mid-month July. For Capricorn. <laughs> in the mid-month of July. That sounded weird. Anyway, hi Capricorn. What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. All right, man. Here we are, July, mid-month. A little later than mid-month, but say love you. That's how I do my channel thus far. Things come out a little later than I intend sometimes, Capricorn, so please forgive me. Uh, right off the bat, Capricorn, uh, I wanted to announce, uh, because I, I'm going to announce it for all the readings, uh, but I just wanted to announce uh, just to be fair and put it out here for everybody. And that sounds like so daunting, if not. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live in August. Uh, but I am doing a live. That live is specifically for Leos. And the reason I'm announcing it is because it's the first live I'm doing in the channel for the channel. So I want people to know what it's for so that, you know, you don't really necessarily come to it blindly. So it is a, a live. I'm doing it specifically for Leo because what I've decided this year of doing the birthday readings is I'm going to do a general reading, which I will post on or around the first day of that zodiac. And then sometime later in the month or in the birthday period, I will do a live for each sign. Leo was the sign last year that I started doing birthday readings with. So this is just the inauguration or the upgrade to sort of that, that package that I do or that, that uh, piece of content that I do on the channel. So it is a live. Everybody's welcome. But just so everybody knows, I am specifically going to be doing readings for Leos. So if you want to come over, over to the live, sit in the chat, say hi, hang out, you know, greet me for the first time, greet other people who might be there. Perfect. If not, that's okay too. Uh, also, while you're here, Capricorn, if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, and comment, and do all that fun stuff that YouTube allows you to do. Helps the channel grow. Let's me know you're having a good time around here, okay? Whoa! Just as I was about to get into like my you know typical spiel, we have a little spillage here. Let's see. Nine of Raphael, Nine of Raphael. So the Knight of Cups in the Nine of Cups. So that's pretty auspicious. That's pretty positive. Yeah, I'm not going to read everything that's on these cards, but if you have a familiarity with the tarot, you kind of might know that that might be something to do with love, romance, or just affection and feeling fulfilled, feeling contented and happy. That might be on the <laughs> that might be in the cards for some of you guys. Okay, but. I wasn't really ready to start your reading, so it might not apply at all. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. All right, Capricorn, enough of the blah, blah, blah. Shuffled off camera. Main spread is there. Shuffle now on camera for the outcome and the overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the table, that's when the reading begins. There is a timestamp in the description box below. If you want to jump ahead, you're welcome to do so. I put it down there for a reason, yeah? <laughs> uh... Also down there is the information you need. If you want to get a personal reading with me, Capricorn, you simply follow the steps and I will pick you up with your own private reading here on YouTube. Uh, but if you have any questions before you place an order, you can feel free to email me at the exact same address and I will answer you with haste, okay? All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. So I'm going to see Capricorn's outcome for mid-July. Please show me Capricorn's outcome for outcorn. Oh my God. <laughs> Please show me Capricorn's outcome for mid-July Capricorn's outcome for mid-July. Let me see that, please. Please show me. shuffles beautifully but as for somebody who prefers cards to come out on their own it's not the greatest <laughs> there it goes bottom of the deck is the overall wow this was definitely very present in the pre-shuffle that that overall energy for you all right your card came like that it's the only one that came face down so let's go ahead and flip it and there you go all right, how we look on camera, looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go, something like that. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Please show me where Capricorn is in the mid-July period. Please show me Capricorn in mid-July, please show me. Mm. 
Mm, okay. All right. Big gal. Big gal. What is wrong with my mouth today? I'm saying so many weird words. I apologize. I had a dying Capricorn. All right. Coming into this reading, guys, you come in with card 13, peace. Archangel Azrael, release the past. There is more enriching. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So that's kind of heavy handed there. With the, well, not heavy handed. It's 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 a it's a little bit obvious with the religious overtone. Religious overtone for you, Capricorn. Let go and let God. For some of you, that is something that you're taking to heart, or you're really kind of maybe that's something a turn of phrase that someone is presenting you with right now, or it's a, it's this concept that you're considering. And you know, I'm not a religious person. I I was not raised religiously, so I'm not here to hammer on whether it's good or bad in someone's life but I think this let go and let God the concept for me right now it feels as though like it's all you can turn to some of you feel like you're at the end of your rope yeah the confines of a situation or the specifics of a situation or the just the the path of the situation, the way it's unfolding, the way it keeps persisting or mm, just keeps showing up in your life. It could be a person that keeps showing up in your life. And it's just like, you don't know what else to do. So a lot of you are considering this let go and let God or let Jesus take the wheel or, you know, put it in the hands of the universe. Whatever phrase or whatever perspective you have is sort of what this feels like for you, Capricorn. Uh... Major Arcana piece, card number 13, traditionally, I believe, would be associated with the death card, which would be Scorpio energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And like this is sort of like looking not as if it would be God or, or some celestial being, but the open arms, the, the warm... Uh, facial expression it's very much you want someone to take over here like you've been going at this thing dealing with this person fighting this fight and you're just like over it exhausted nowhere else like you have no other you have nothing more to give to a situation and you know Capricorn it feels like Like that sigh I just did, like a, it's like, you know, you have to still deal with this to some extent. Yeah. Even if you're super religious, even if you pray every day of your life, every moment you can, and you have this belief that God will deliver, the universe will deliver, whatever your situation is, you still have this realization that, well, I still have to get up every day and deal with this. I still have to get up every morning and greet this person or f find my way down to work and deal with this situation, whatever we're talking about, you know, general reading, it can apply in any area of your life. So there's like this desire or this calling out from inside of you, in your prayers, in your meditations, whatever, for some salvation to come to you, some help, some ease in the situation to come your way. Because like I, I was with the side, it's like a you know you have to keep going. That's the way life works. Capricorn, you're pretty practical, okay? When you need to be, you're pretty logical most of the time, okay? So you understand that all the prayers, all the meditation, all the please God, please God, or please universe help me isn't going to magically erase whatever needs to be left behind or you need to walk away from or it needs to be finalized, whatever we're talking about. It can't disappear through magic. There has to be a uh, action taken in reality. There has to be changes that take place in reality. And like I said, you're at the end of your rope. You don't know what to do or, or what you haven't done that would allow this release to happen. It's very melancholy energy here. I feel drained. I feel 
at a loss. I feel mm, like so close to crumbling, to breaking, to just not being able to continue. And it's not necessarily about quitting. It's more of like a, like I said, what else can I do? What else can I say? What else can I change here? What else can I offer here? And you're like unable to really understand any practical, logical way that you have thought of that, that has been suggested to you, that you thought up on your own, that you've, you know, talked about and, and, and tried to come to a compromise about. It's everything you've tried to do to get over something you keep getting pulled back. You keep getting sucked back into something that is detrimental to you. You know it's detriment detrimental. You know it's not healthy for you. You know it's not adding value to your life. Person, place, or thing, business, work, money, any type of relationship. I don't know what we're talking about. But you just know it's just donezo. A certain aspect or the situation completely is donezo. And release the past. You know, the, the, the language of the card suggests that you're not aware or that you're resistant. And for most Capricorns that I'm connecting with in this reading, you're not resistant and you're not unaware. You're very aware and you very much want to release. So you might be dealing with people. You might be dealing with energy or circumstances that won't let you go. That's, I don't know in what way you can cut that. I don't know in what way we can apply that. But I feel a lot, of, uh, most of you, it, it can't be all of you because there's no such thing. Uh, but most of you are like, yes, let me out, let me out. Or God, I just want this over with. Or please let this be the last time. And it keeps coming back around. So this, that, that tone of that card Release the past. There is more. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. That release the past. Like that call to action might be what the other person or the other people involved need to hear or need to do. They might be showing up in this reading. Whoever you're dealing with or whatever other side of the issue, person, place, thing. I don't know what it is. But that needs to hear that message. Or they need to hear that message, okay? Next. Page of... Pick the page. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Page of Raphael. A.K.A. Page of Cups. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Okay, so you're having like a spiritual, if not spiritual, religious because there's this thing about God here more so than spirit or source or any other less, less religious uh, tone. I'm feeling like there's a heavy religious thing here and when I... It, I'm not, again, I'm not here to bash anybody who comes from that life or comes from those uh, beliefs, but there is this feeling of obligatory following of expectations and decorum, or like I said, not knowing any other life, not knowing any other way. So Page of Raphael, AKA Page of Cups. <sighs> Being that it's above where you started, this could be a person who's on your mind. Water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces being the Page of Cups, aka Page of Raphael. And above your head, so there could be a child or someone of young energy or someone just who's a novice or a student that is important to you. Could be you, I mean you're obviously not a water sign Capricorn, but... Like, I feel there's a tie here that somehow makes this card of peace 
also known as the death card in the traditional tarot, it makes it hard to settle this because of this person. This person is sensitive. This person is very darling to you. Like, not, oh, my darling, or, oh, my darling. It's not about that. They're darling. Like, they're tender. Like, you have a tender place in your heart for this person. For many of you, well, not many, but for some of you, this will be a child of yours or a child of significance in your life. Stepchild, a, a niece, a nephew, something like that. Uh, and this person... And when I say child, they don't have to be a baby or anything. They could be like an adult, but they're still the child of someone or your child, yeah? Uh, it's like they can't do for themselves in some way or there's a naivete about them that makes it so you can't release them or release your tie to a situation that they're involved in. So Capricorn, this could be just for an example to illustrate how it doesn't have to be a small child. If it's a small child, that's a little more obvious. Small children can't do for themselves. That's why they're children and they're small. And, you know, <laughs> we wait 18 years before we're like, okay, it's your turn to take care of yourself. Anyway, so if this is an adult who's around you, child or not, but young energy that you feel they need to be protected, I feel that there could be something that this person has gotten themselves into and they need perhaps some type of rescuing or protection. <sighs> and you can't fault this person for getting into that predicament, although it's quite annoying. Okay, there we go. A little a little example here. And this is this is just to, to illustrate what this is. Because I don't, I don't think this is going to resonate with everybody or nearly, you know, even like 10% of the audience. Let's say this thing that you can't release, this thing from the past where you're just like, I just want this out of my life. I want this burden off of me or this this feeling that grinds me down to, to the point of almost breaking, almost crumbling, right? Let's say it was caused by this page of Raphael, this page of cups. Your child went off to college or first time living by themselves and they've racked up a huge amount of debt crumbling their finances right and they move back into your house and you don't want them to go hungry blah 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 blah. and this is not for everybody because I I don't know if I would be able to do it myself and I'm not even a parent but you help your child with their debt they come to you they say mom dad whomever you are to them I did some stupid things, I did some bonehead things, I didn't know any better, I had no financial understanding, or I thought it would be easy, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, listen, I'm 50 grand in debt, all credit card debt. And you're like, Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you agree to help them financially. Take them in, they can move back into the house, there's a spare room, you know, there's an, uh, whatever. So they move in and you're helping them financially, paying down their, their debt, getting it consolidated, you know, paying for legal fees, if there are legal fees, whatever. You absorb the burden and the troubles and the hardships of this page of Raphael, regardless of whether we're talking money, regardless of whether, whatever we're talking about. If they're broken up, if they're heartbroken, young tender energy this could be your kid this could be or even your friend a, a good friend of yours and this is like their first relationship and they got their heart ripped out and now they're like depressed or they're really like down on themselves and they feel like they'll never and so you're pep talking them and you know capricorn is supportive but not necessarily over the moon about someone's sob story no offense capricorn but you're really not <laughs> and so you're taking, you're shouldering the troubles of this person and you're wanting for yourself and for them, for the whole thing to be alleviated. A solution. You've thought of this, you've thought of that, you've suggested this, you've suggested that, you've put these plans into motion, it didn't work out. 
and you're just like, how do we move past this crap? I'm so done and so tired and uh, with having to deal with these two. And the significance, again, of the page being above you is that they're in your consciousness, probably close around you. Again, a child, a friend, co-worker, other family member, it does not matter. And you just, especially the child thing, you feel super responsible. And that's the thing about Capricorn. The Capricorn does feel responsible, especially in a family dynamic. That's that's Capricorn, Saturn, father energy, okay? Ugh. And and that might be why you're like struggling with this Capricorn. If we think about the father dynamic and the Saturn dynamic within your sign, you do not have to be a man to be experiencing this. Okay. It's all about energy. It's all about, you know, like astrological archetypes. And if the, if Capricorn is the father masculine archetypes it's just not your strong suit to be emotionally supportive financially like i said some of you you heard 50 grand it's not what it's not what you wanted to hear out of your kid's mouth but you're just like you know what i can set aside some of my own finances i can take some things out of savings to you know get you back on track and no problem but if it's if there's a emotional element again page of cups which definitely would would indicate that the emotional element you're just like i don't know what to tell you you know maybe your kid or someone else is coming to you and they're saying more about it okay so i spent all this money i racked up all this debt and i think i have a gambling problem and you're in that and they cry to you or they make this confession and you're just like okay so i can handle the money thing but this other stuff i feel ill-equipped i don't know what to tell you there's a, there's a need or a disturbance within this person that is out of your purview, out of your, your realm of expertise, or this is a part of you for, for those who don't have kids or you don't have anybody external to you who is experiencing this. This is something that's bubbling up from inside of you that you're just like, holy shit, I have all these feelings. I'm coming into some type of you know, not awakening, but certainly a new level of, of emotions that you've not experienced. Maybe a level of sensitivity and vulnerability that you haven't experienced before. There's a very tender something going on with that page of Raphael. The obvious thing that I haven't mentioned because the word is not here in this deck but again, this card 13, I'm pretty sure, I don't use this deck often, and I don't memorize the major arcanas and their numbers. Other readers do that. Kudos to them. I don't do that. Um, but I'm pretty sure this card piece is the death card. So for those where death is, is, is somewhere playing a factor here, maybe an, a mutual friend or someone in the family died and now the Page of Cups is reeling, crying, sobbing not knowing you know just just knock the wind completely out of that person's sail and you care for them and you want to make them feel better but you don't know how and then you're like oh do i not know how to handle death am i not capable and you know so it's it kind of there's something that is going on with them is mirroring back to you a feeling of inadequacy or ill-equipped not being able to take care of. And that that really knocks you a little bit, Capricorn, if I'm honest, okay? Mm-hmm. Got it. Thank you. So next to you on your on your bottom row there, we have divine guidance. Major Arcana five <laughs> Major Arcana uh Divine Guidance. AKA the Hierophant. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternate approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Archangel, oh my god, I, I shouldn't have even tried to read this. Sen, Sandofen? 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 I'm not sure how you would say that. No clue. Um, so yeah, Major Arcana, aka the Hierophant, ruled by Taurus, or associated with Taurus, I, I should say. So here we are. 
where we had that religious overtone that we talked about in the beginning. And obviously visually here, we've got that religious overtone with those words at the bottom, consider an alternate approach, wise teacher and or friends, meaning of life. Some of you, is that it? Maybe this is going to be like a super specific message and I don't even know if it would hit with whomever that might be for, but there could be a role you play in your church. Are you a pastor, a youth minister? Are you a rabbi? Are you a spiritual leader or, you know, a guru, someone that people turn to in the metaphysical space? And you now, your faith is shaken by what this person has experienced or brought to you in need of help, in need of guidance. And then you look to your teachers, you look to your masters, you look to your doctrine and your holy books and everything that you've been taught and you don't have the answers for this person because everything you've suggested to them will prey on it. Let's get a, let's get a, let's get a spirit circle going around. Let's do some Reiki. Let's do this. Let's do that. And nothing is helping this person. So now you're like, hmm, ah, uh, dear, dear Lord. I'm trying everything in the playbook here. I'm trying everything that I've been taught. I'm trying everything that has worked for me and other clients or other members of the church, other members of the congregation, and it's just not working for this person. Could Again, could be your child. That This is so specific and, and it's general, so I'm hoping you guys are able to pull little threads of this out for yourselves. But in this... God, this is coming through a little bit. Someone who has a position within a faith-based space, church, synagogue, healing center, meditation studio, yoga studio, temple, I don't care. You have a place there. Pastor, whatever. Teacher, doesn't matter. And you're wanting to help this person. Child of yours, child of a member of, of, of your community, whatever. And you're not able, there's no resonance with that person's experience and you just feel like you're failing them and in by proxy some of you are wondering if your god is failing you or if your god or whoever you look up to whatever you think about as what's above you or below you or around you you're just questioning why this is not happening there's an inability to move away from grief with this peace card, right? Release the past, it says. A more enriching future coming. There's a clinging to something. And, okay. <sighs> Capricorn, you're having like a deep reading now. This person is clinging to something. Addiction terrible low self-esteem or self-image body in, body image issues some type of social anxiety or social uh anything really this person or like i said before the death of someone else you having start being in this position because i asked where's capricorn you're here too and you're clinging to your faith i don't I mean, this is not a suggestion to throw your your faith out of the window. It's not a suggestion that this person just has to go cold turkey away from the drugs or completely forget about the person that they lost and everything's going to be fine. No, but there's this metamorphosis. There's some, God, what is that? What's that? Again, please. What's that? This matter. There's something that has to be changed here. For you, for them, for everybody involved, something has to change. Something has to give. And for some of you, like I said when we started, it's been a lot of the I don't know what to do, so let me turn it over to someone else. Let me give it up to God. Yeah. This. This. Hierophant would be it 
could be that you just need another perspective. Like a different, if you are a pastor already, let's just go with that. You might need to seek a monk to help you with this person. Just as an example, that's not a specific like advice, but this is just an example. You've looked to other people in your congregation, within your faith, within your church, within your practice, whatever, and you've tried to help. It's not working. It's not resonating with this person. They're resistant to it or it's just, it's not giving them what they need. It's not giving them any help. So you, because you care for them, don't want to leave them out in the cold. You don't want to leave them in the dust or in the lurch you still are able or want to be able to, to, to help them. So what you're encouraged to do is to metamorphosize or, or, or morph the, the image, a pastor, a monk, a rabbi, a priest, all of those people roles are very similar. Even if they're coming from different faiths, even if they're coming from different worldviews or religious views or spiritual views, the role is very similar. So you coming as a pastor to this person, trying to minister to them, you say, hey, come to the, come to the, to the prayer circle, come to Bible study, come to, if you're coming from a spiritual place, come to the meditation, come to do this. And this person just, it's not working for them. You might have to let go, Capricorn, for a moment of your faith to, to give them passage to a new route of faith. Does that make sense? So you find a temple, Buddhist temple, local to you, or you find one online if there isn't one local to your town or your city. Because this person has shown they're not necessarily grooving on your line. Maybe they'll groove with the Buddhists. Maybe they'll groove with the Jews. Maybe they'll groove with the Taoists. Whatever. And for some of you, that stings a little bit. This is very strange because I am not a religious person. And again, this is so specific, but I'm hoping you're able to kind of generalize it in your life. There's another equal, quote unquote equal, player who could help this person they're just in a different line they're just in a different line a different route a different uh, uh, uh lane so to speak we're all on the same highway doing good things ministering trying to bring enlightenment and joy and love to people my my lane as capricorn is christianity the lane over there that's buddhism the lane over there that's 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 islam the road over there, agnostic or atheist, whatever. And some of you are like, oh, atheist. And just like, that is also, a, I'm not going to sit here and argue that to myself, but through the camera. <laughs> and so this person that you care about, they might not be meant to be in your lane. They might need to move a lane or two over. You know, they might need to go read the Torah or the Quran. They might need to go and look at the teachings of, was it Lin? Uh, ooh, I forget his name. I took like an Eastern, a couple Eastern uh, religion courses and I totally forgot all other names, but you know, something else. That's where this surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. And I, it's, God, I haven't looked down in forever. <laughs> and I finally look. And I know a lot will have this the same pose. But look at it. Equals the same pose. I did not even look at that. My God. So again, an equal, but totally different. Shrouded in white robes. White hair. Out in nature. Purple robes cap or some other whatever thing you would call that on his head 
and indoors, same pose, same disposition, same purpose here on earth, but in a totally different lane. You have to, if you really care about this person, because again, some of you are like so like weirded out that your faith, your lane doesn't serve that person. You're like, mm. and again, if this is a family member, if this is your child, your nephew, your niece, who, whomever, and the, we, we've all grown up Muslim, we, we all pray to Allah. But your, your nephew says, you know what? I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Maybe I believe in nothing. Maybe I believe in centrism, not centrism, but, uh, oh God, I can't remember the name of that one. There's like a meme or not a meme, but there's like a graphic with like many of the different, um, spiritual and religious beliefs. And I can't remember the name of this one that I'm thinking of. So let's just go Judaism. And, con and that's controversial in some in some places to to say I don't want to be a Muslim I want to be a Jew or I want to study Judaism or I have sympathy for Jews that can be a little controversial in in some places so the release of the past can now be a little more clarified for your position Capricorn this is so specific and I am not religious but Dang, this is what's coming through. <sighs> so there's someone else equal footing in another lane that this person might benefit from knowing and learning from. And you and them need to release potential fears, potential bias against who this person is or what they represent and work with them. Because this person might be telling you with tears in their in te tears in their eyes, I don't know if I believe Jesus Christ is my savior. And you're like, what? In this house, you don't believe that, or in you know this community, how could you, how could you doubt it? How could you ever doubt that as being a fact or 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 being the case? And they're like, I just I just don't believe. And they're like confessing to you, and you're like, okay, I don't I, I'm not gonna you know I want to help you find the answer you need find the help that you need the nourishment for your spirit that you need let's go talk to this monk over here let's go talk to this this yogi over here or this other spiritual leader over here and wow let's let's hurry this up and, and wrap this up because uh, it's tense like i feel awkward doing this reading for you I'm not awkward in talking about religion, by the way. I'm not religious, but I can talk about it all day. But I feel awkward. So that makes me think this is awkward for everybody involved. Like, if it's it's very sensitive, okay? Card in your main spread. First card of the major arcanas, or the second card, actually. Uh, the magician card, card number one. You can manifest life, the life you want, excuse me. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings now i mentioned something earlier about it's not it won't happen by magic so and the fact that this is a magician and he's wearing that silly top hat and all that stuff is not it's not an indication that i was somehow off the mark the magician despite what the card says requires work you know i said that before when we were here talking in the, with the peace card You've put it up to God, you've asked for help, you've prayed on it, etc., etc. But you still know something has to be done in this physical reality. It's, you know, God might send something your way, but if you're not there to receive it, the shot is missed, missed. the opportunity is missed. So this magician, I feel, ah, nice, it's a connector between the page of Raphael and the Divine Guidance card. And I really feel this divine guidance is a person. I don't normally say the Hierophant is a person, but I really feel they're a person because, you know, that's what the Hierophant rules over any, anyway. It rules over institutions, education, governments, religious uh, uh, systems, things like that. 
but it's coming up represented by a person, a leader in some other faith, right? That's why I, I, I said it was a person. But this magician is the link between them. I don't think the magician is a person. I think it's just an opportunity. I think it's timing, place, availability, maybe money. You know, this person might want to, the page might want to study something. Okay, we're going to go back to that because they're just like switching me. They s jump me right back into that money situation. So we're going to go back there for a second. But I feel that the magician is really, you know, a combination of things. Like I said, place, time, access, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now, they push me back to this money thing because obviously we harped a long time on the, uh, <sighs> on the religious side of this. So for the person that might be in debt or in some type of trouble, like physical trouble, they might be in an abusive situation, something like that, and you've come to their rescue. And, okay, thank you. If you've taken someone back into your home, your child, whoever, because they're financially in, in, a, in a crisis or they're in a domestic crisis, they're being abused wherever they live, wherever they've come from, that situation from your perspective and theirs, Capricorn, is understood to be temporary. So once they're out of your home, out of your care, out of your, 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 your support circle or your support vicinity, right? Where do they go? There is a bridge to someone who can help them. A financial advisor. If we're talking addictions, a counselor, a substance abuse expert, a psychologist or a psychiatrist or whatever. All right. Uh, like I said before, the religious leaders. So we have that. Uh, and we just have this link between. Now, this is more in line with the page, so they might have to put in more of this work. They might need to do some of the research. You know, I found a facility here, I found a doctor here, I found a counselor over here, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to cost this much, or this is how much the airfare is, da, 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 da. And if I take this time off of work, I can go here for a weekend, da, 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 da. Like, they might need to put in more work than you do, since it's catty corner here. Because I'm not feeling a cross, really. Especially not between you and the magician. Not really. In order to get to some type of solution, this, is, this cannot rest solely in the hands of whomever you or they or anyone else believes in. Okay? We have to put in... The work, the dedication, the intention, and the good nature to get a to get a positive result here. It's very tentative or, or sensitive, excuse me, it's very sensitive, this whole thing. <sighs> but I feel really good with this successful beginnings with the magician as well as with this divine um, guidance card. These are great. A lot of, not tension between you, but you both have weight on you. Page of Raphael and you there with the peace card. A lot of weight on both of you. You both need relief from this situation, Capricorn. It's pretty crazy. All right, your outcome for mid-July is eight of Raphael. But in reverse, I'll show you this upright and we'll read the card. There's something better waiting for you. Do what is, excuse me, do what you know is, oh my God. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. Wow. But it's in reverse. So that last line, it's a spiritual quest. Oh, man. What I mean, I had, I was like, in the beginning, I wasn't necessarily sure. And then we talked so heavily about this. Someone is... What is, what's that? What is that feeling like out in like lost in the woods here in terms of their spirituality, in terms of their their moral convictions or their convictions about, you know, what is life? What is what is the purpose of us? What is the purpose of me? Like someone's like really deeply adrift in that energy. Now, now this coming in reverse is not to negate what it said. Something is something better is waiting. You have to do what you know is right in the spiritual quest. This is not to negate any of that. I think this is 
this is to show that one it's happening slowly might be some delays might be some confusion along the way uh, there might be a lack of articulation you know I'm saying a lot about what the page might want or need they may not have expressed it to you you may be unaware so that could be what we're having a stalled energy with this reversal the other part of it is for you Capricorn like feeling shook feeling shocked and, and in awe of the tr the change of lane the changing of the lanes that the page of Raphael might need you've been prescribing or advising them in this way ministering to them about this telling them that these are the ways that we see ourselves through these problems and then they say eh, I don't know I want to explore other options that knocks you for a loop and you go oh this is my child, my, my grandchild, my niece, my nephew, my brother, my sister, whoever. We all grew up this way. This is, this is what we all know. They disagree. Knocks you for a loop. Oh, they love God still, but maybe their God isn't Jesus. Maybe their God isn't Allah. Maybe their God is no God. Maybe their God is just consciousness and, and goodwill amongst humans and there's no label to it and they're more into the esoteric spiritual shit yeah overall energy the empress major arcana for libra and taurus so you got taurus twice here in the reading oh and the magician major arcana for gemini and uh secondary major arcana for gemini and virgo in case you wanted to know uh, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Okay, so time to act upon your plans. If this person needs to go on a religious retreat, or if they want to study at a course, or if they need financial help, these are the plans that we're going to enact. These are the new solutions that we're going to put forward and see if they work. All right, so time to act upon those plans. Creativity is rewarded. Thinking outside the box, very, very much signaling back to here of releasing and letting go and trying different things or, you know, like I said, metamorphosis, changing the spin of the thing, tweaking it. All right. Well, you're not going to believe in my God, but how about this God? And it's just like, okay, cool. Cool. You believe in some God. <laughs> Maybe it's not my God, but it's some God. And you're like, whew. You know, you really, some of you really have like trepidation over this person exploring new avenues of, 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 of spirituality and, and, and faith. And you were worried like, oh, please don't be an atheist. Again, I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> but some of you are like, please, God, don't say you're an atheist. And you're like, no, I think I might be Buddhist. You're like, okay. Whew. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> creativity is rewarded. Being open to different avenues, different ways of thinking, and, and different ways of seeing the world. Perfect. Now, the luxurious or abundant resources, again, that might apply for some of you who have shouldered the financial burden of, of the Page of Cups. And like, okay, you're in debt. I can help you. I can throw you like 200 a month. But, you know, and you need to spread that across the five different credit card bills you have. I'm not paying for every single one of them. But, you know, so that could be it. That you're tapping into your own reserve, your own resources, and sharing it with the page of Raphael or anybody else who may or may not be uh, in this uh, predicament or some other type of predicament, okay? So, and, and that's it. And, and I really feel, before I close... That that Empress energy is really in you because, it, again, yes, I'm like, I was almost ready, but I was like, why am I stopping here? That sounded like a good place to end. She's very similarly posed. And I, I know this deck is going to have a lot of people posed this way. But she's similarly posed to the Peace card and the Divine Guidance. Winged, arms open, walking towards us or being open towards us, walking towards her. So there's just a lot of this greeting and giving and, and being available that I think is within you and within people who are again your your equals your cohorts but just in different lanes they're not in front of you they're not in back of you they're just on either side of you and you're all trying to put good energy out into the world and spread good faith amongst humans 
okay? Capricorn, what a reading, my friends. Did you like it? <laughs> if you did, there's a like button down below. Hit it for me. Uh, let me know you're having a good time around here. You can also leave comments below. Share the video across social your social media platforms here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, I've enjoyed meeting new people, seeing the community expand slowly but surely, and it's it's been great. So I want to see that uh, all of that continue to grow. And if you want to help me out, you can do any and all of those things. That would be great. Uh, like I said. Cap, I will be doing that live for Leo later in August. So if you want to drop by, say hello and just meet me. Cool. I'd, I'd love to see you there. Um, I'm also going to be back in a few weeks when I'm going to do the August readings for you and every other sign. So you have that to look forward to. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, guys. I really do appreciate you watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Take care. Bye.